So with number eight, it says calculate the slope of the roof and the diagonal uh, and of the diagonal trusses. Okay, so the roof is the outside part, right? That's the roof. And then the diagonal trusses would be these. Those are the trusses, okay? So, so that's part of your diagram there. That's, that's what you're looking for, looking for the slopes of each of those. So what we have to do is we have to find out, well, what's the, the run and the rise associated with the roof, right? So the rise looks like 3.2 here, you see? This is 3.2. And then the run, okay, now what is the run? Well, this little bit right here is 4 meters, okay? And the way this diagram works is that, you see there's two little tick marks there? On each of these sections, that means that they're all equal. the same, equal, right? So, so that's so that's four. Yeah, that's right. So we've got a bottom of four plus four. So we've got a rise of uh, well, we have a rise of three point two, and then a run of four plus four. Okay. So this this is for the roof. And then what you want to do is you want to calculate the slope of this truss right here. And we'll do this in black. And it has a rise of 1.6, and then of course we know this is a run of 4. So you want to do this, 1.6 divided by 4. And you want to see what those two values are. Okay? And I think you should find that they'll be the same number. Okay? So I'll do that little calculation here as well. So when you do both of those calculations, you get a slope of 0 0.4. Mm -hmm. So they're both they're both equal. Now, equal slopes, do you know what that means? Equal slopes, do you know what that means about these parts? They are what's the what's another word for equal slope? Anybody remember? Do you remember from last semester? Equal slope? Mm -hmm. So if something has an equal slope, what's the word? It's a word that starts with P. Parallel, yes. That means they're parallel. Okay? So that's how you do that's how you do number eight.